Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. It's a Monday which means we're taking a look at another amazing creation from the Steam Workshop. With me today, I actually have something very interesting that caught my eye last week. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get around to it, so what we do this weekend is show you this amazing creation. This is the Aardvark Mark 1 Construction Mech. Yes, you heard and saw that right, this is a construction mech you can use in Space Engineers. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it today, give you a demonstration, we'll see how it works. Uh, as you can imagine, Space Engineers mechs not going too well, there's a few glitches of it, but they are quite funny. So we're going to walk around to it today, experiment welding some stuff up and constructing some stuff with it, and go from there. I'd love to use these in my upcoming series, but I don't think we can. Anyway, more on that soon. So basically, AV Tech Industries developed a small lightweight mech to serve construction and repair needs for terrestrial operations uh, needed in situations where thruster systems may be too expensive to operate. So typically, in a law slash RP thing, you'd see these things stamping around colonies or construction yards where you don't really need like a flying welder ship all the time. It makes perfect sense. Oh, by the way, the person who made this is called a Warwolf. Now, the feature is a twin welding system, walking or wheeled modes, and inventory identification system. Regarding whether you can use this in survival, it's buildable, not really because it has too many rotors. So, you know, if you spawned in, you probably could use it, but I'm not sure. Functional, it does function survival, but too much weight in the world will cause it to tip over when walking. Uh, mods are stated there's no mods, this is completely um, vanilla. It does use one of the DLCs, which is the decorative pack, because of the industrial cockpit. So you may need the decorative pack to actually use this build. So yeah, let's check out this mech today. I'm going to show you around it. But first, let's look at the details on it, because there is some really nice stuff. Okay, first thing that stuck out to me was the sort of like indication flashing light going around here. It really reminds me of like, you know, JCB or one of those diggers you get. Well, it's got an antenna going up here as well. The one thing I noticed last week, it's almost like we've got a power pack mounted to the back here, which is really nice, along with some programmable blocks. It really does this look like this thing is built for functionality, but also detail at the same time. Now, one thing I really like that sticks out is the carbon fiber on the blaster blocks here. I'm not sure how, it just makes it look really cool. Now, you're probably thinking there's a weird glitch here with this spinning around. These aren't actually spinning. This is a texture glitch, but it does look quite cool that the welds are spinning around. They're not, though. Now, it's actually got some LCD parts on the arms here, telling you how to use it and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit about it, which is quite nice. In the cockpit, there's also a display uh, for, you know, what, what you're based at and stuff like that. It's really quite cool, and I love, the, you know, the time the creators put into this now. Regarding inventory system, there isn't much to it. You basically have to use each arm separately, which can work too far and against, I guess. Depends how you're building stuff. But uh, I do like how it's operated. Obviously, if you want a bigger mech, then you could probably have more of an in inventory system. But then you lose kind of a scale. This thing's almost a scale with the engineer, in a sense. That you can imagine this stomping around. And actually, it fits the engineer, essentially, if you get what I mean. So you're going to see this more realistically inside Space Engineers. Obviously, then we have a giant rover over there, which is, you know, something slightly different. Um, so let's focus on something else. We also have a wheeled mode down here. As mentioned, this thing can go along on wheels, presumably. Uh, I've not quite tested that yet, but I guess we can test it in a memento. And then it's got the giant feet down here as well. I was hoping there'd be like a landing gear in the foot so we could, you know, lock ourselves to the ground sometimes in difficult situations. But uh, apparently that's not a thing. I'm not sure if that interferes with the rotors or it's just not possible. But I was hoping for a landing gear so we could lock the mech down at certain points. But, oh well, I guess it's not going to be a thing. Gyroscopes on each side, which is quite nice. Also antennas and more up here. That's kind of like a general overview of the mech. There's not really too much more I can focus on in the exterior parts of it as we kind of covered everything. So let's hop in and we'll give it a spin. I'm going to try and not walk up this platform. So once we get in, we have a number of stuff across our toolbar. So let's take a look. Number one is walk. So let's try that. I'll go into third person for this. And you see that. Mr. Mech can walk. Now we'll disable it again. Very nice. Uh, let's open up again. Number two, wheeled mode. Okay, we'll start that. I press number two. Not quite sure how this works. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> this is already not going to plan. Uh, oh dear. So let's try number six. Wheels, wheels, wheels. I, I, what does number seven do? Or just try six. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm not sure how these are working. Okay, the parking brake is off. I'm not sure how that properly works. I think it's meant to like sort of skid across the ground, but it doesn't sort of want to work like that. So, so I guess we're kind of stuck. Now regarding the walking mode, I don't think we can sort of turn it around is the only issue I've faced so far. We can sort of do it on the wheels, but even they don't want to turn around, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, they, oh we're working now. Oh, no, 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 break, break, we're going to fall off the edge. Oh, that was almost a bit weird. No, 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 we're oh, oh, shit, no, oh, dear. Um, well, there was our first mistake. Um... 
don't use the wheeled mode. See what I meant? It's got a few glitches in it, and obviously I'm a bad driver as well. So uh, let, let's just turn that one off. We'll call, call that one a casualty of war or casualty of experimentation. Anyway, let's not focus on the wheeled mode for a minute. I think if I just focus on the welding mode, I can show you how this mech actually properly works instead of breaking it every five seconds. So let's give it a go. Uh, number one we want. Now I just want to carefully march towards the wheels here. One route. This just does look really dodgy. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel safe. Now we can also raise the arms with three and four as well. Rotors, I'll show you how they're done in just a moment. We're just going to get up to here, probably in closing distance, and stop. Okay, cool. So we're touching up to the wheels now, which is fine. Now, number three, I can raise the arms. So there we go. And then number nine, I hold it down. And I weld up the wheels. There you go. The next construction job is complete. Now, presumably, I would press the wheels to engage. Number two, walk mode. Oh, sorry, wheel mode, sorry. And then we go to number six. Oh, it's going the wrong way. The wrong way. Eight. Ah, here we go. Now, aha, I think I've mastered the wheel mode slightly. Okay, let's just go over to here. All right, steady as she goes. <laughs> this is so not going to work. Uh, looks like we've... Come on, you can do this. This is such the most glitchiest thing ever we've done. I think it's literally the worst we've played with. Oh, no, 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 no. Two, stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay, right. Wheels will be set. Okay, right. Number nine and wells. Excellent. We're sort of getting somewhere here. Okay, let's try this again. We'll go into wheel mode. And we want to reverse. We kind of want to go reverse, don't we? Okay, steady she goes. Bit further around. Oh, not too fast. Not too fast. God, this thing is like itchy, isn't it? Okay, right. This is probably like, like I said, the glitchiest thing we've played with so far. But I do like this. Like, would you guys use this in a survival game if you could? I would love to see more mech creations inside of Space Engineers, as the creators really do bring forth a sense of uniqueness of their builds, and I love it. I was going to try and come around to the front here to see if we could. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see if we could build up a front. I'm not sure if we can. Okay, stop, stop. Doesn't want to stop. Other way, other... Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is so, so glitchy. All right, we're walking in now. Steady. And stop. Okay, number nine. We've we sort of got it. Can we just edge around slightly? No? Okay. Doesn't look like Mr. Mech here wants to actually edge around. Oh, no, it's got a mind of its own. It's doing something. Okay, well that's obviously up to something else. It thinks it's walking or going somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. This is the Aardvark Mark 1 construction mech. If you want to download it, the link is down below in the description as per usual. Head over to the Steam Workshop. Check out the creator's other builds. AV Tech Industries seems to be doing some quite cool stuff at the minute. And I would love to see more mechs from him as I think these are great. And I really want you guys to think of it down below. Again, it features a twin welding system. It can walk or wield mode. It's quite cool. We saw how those work today bit finicky and you'll get used to how it walks and stuff like that but don't go taking it down ledges as you see we managed to repair the wheels on the rhino here which is from conley wars and you can see it did a nice job of that so if you can imagine if this is working like a construction yard maybe some starships something like that it could work really well just for the off chance if i remove the welder that fell off the side what if we get a grinder i really want to try this see if it works okay right Walk forward. We're going to fall down this. I, I guarantee you we can't walk down this. No. <laughs> reverse. Reverse. Oh, can, we, can you get back up? Oh, nice. Okay. We was able to get back up there. Right. Carry on. I want to grind for that wheel over here. So. Okay. Groups. Grinder. Grind. In fact, why don't we just turn them on? Grind, or in here. Grinder, on. Right, we're going in for the kill. Alright, we've got that. Let, let him stabilize out. Okay, let's march in. We're going to continue grinding up the rhino here. This is quite cool. Like, fear of grind. Oh no, I've fallen over again. Okay, the minute I actually had success there, we've fallen over. Oh dear. 
Well, there you go. That has been the Aardvark Mark 1 construction mech. You can see it can also work with grinders as well. So if you want to make a variant of it, you can. Uh, probably you should hopefully pilot it better than I did. But hey, that's my bad piloting. Again, download the Vive Steam Workshop. Make sure to leave the critters some feedback. And I can't wait to see more mechs inside of Space Engineers. Are you a fan of mechs as well? Let me know what you think of its creation down below in the comment section. I would definitely like to see more very soon. And I can imagine myself using this in an upcoming series more soon. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I've been Captain Jack today and I'll catch you later on in the week with more Space Engineers content. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.